But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these. All you fake hard. Fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard. Fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give because you can't shit nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal. You fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all shut the f up about me. Now let me say it calm. You shut the f up about <laughs> you shut the f up about Michael. Gossip, baby. I got it. Everybody knows he's a mother of the monster. I'm going to need to see your every hand in the comments. I'm going to need to see your every hand in the comments and subscribe because, y'all, the tea today has definitely been brewing for a while now, so you know it's good. Y'all, it looks like Kanye West was definitely onto something when he said that Diddy is allegedly working for the feds. From the way that this situation is playing out, Diddy might be getting away with his crimes, and according to Kanye, it's all because of a deal that he allegedly made with the feds. Not only is Diddy allegedly working with the feds, but he's also been allegedly snitching on the Hollywood elites and feeding them information on how to take down all of them. In exchange, he's been getting immunity, allegedly. Y'all, Kanye has a whole lot to say about Diddy, so let's break this down. I'm sure that you guys have seen the video released by CNN showing Diddy brutally hurting Cassie and being a whole monster at the Intercontinental Hotel in Century City, Los Angeles in 2016. In the video, Cassie desperately tries to flee, making it into the elevator. However, Diddy, wearing only a towel and some socks, runs out of the room, chases her down the hallway, and forcibly drags her back to their room. He put hands on her repeatedly, refusing to let her leave. Exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs a his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. Cassie actually referenced this incident in her lawsuit, which was filed in November. It said that in or around March 2016, during an event at the Intercontinental Hotel in Century City, Los Angeles, Mr. Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye. After he fell asleep, Miss Ventura tried to leave the hotel room, but as she excited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at her. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. He grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them. She ran to the elevator to escape. The most heartbreaking aspect of this video is that Cassie laid on the floor without attempting to fight back while Diddy assaulted her. This indicated that this wasn't the first time Diddy treated her this way, and she just wanted the ordeal to end. Although she eventually managed to escape, she was so terrified and scared of what he would do to her that she attempted to return and apologize to him, despite the fact that he was the one who had wronged her and hurt her. If there was anybody who should have been agreeing with an apology, it's Diddy. The lawsuit continued, she managed to get into the elevator, and when she got to the lobby, quickly took a cab to her apartment. Upon realizing that her running away would cause Mr. Combs to be even angrier with her and completely stuck in this vicious cycle, Miss Ventura returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for running away. When she returned, hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the security footage. It was at this point that Diddy realized just how badly he had messed up, not for putting hands on Cassie, but for doing so in the hallway where the CCV cameras were. So he tried to buy his way out. The document said, upon information and belief, Mr. Combs paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage from that evening. From this evidence, fans thought that he would finally see some criminal charges brought against Diddy. I mean the fifth woman has even come out to accuse him of assaulting her in 2003. The woman is a model named Crystal McKinney, and according to the reports, she claims the rapper plied her with alcohol and possibly laced grass during the 2003 encounter, then brought her to the bathroom and forced her on her knees, demanding she perform oral sex on him. Reports went on to say that McKinney alleged that when she refused to comply, Combs grabbed her head and forced her to perform the act on him. She lost consciousness and awoke in a taxi to realize she'd been assaulted. 
Although it remains unclear whether she meant that there was an additional assault beyond the oral encounter, the sad part about this lawsuit is that it's very similar to a lawsuit filed by Jane Doe last year, where she claims that she was allegedly picked up by Harvey Pierre, who took her to Diddy's studio, where she was allegedly assaulted by Diddy and his friends. According to the model Crystal, she and Diddy met during a Men's Fashion Week event at Armani, where he invited her to join him at his studio afterward. McKinney alleged she and Combs drank some expensive booze with friends, and then they began passing joints around the group. The grass was very powerful, so much so that she began to feel she was floating and felt it had been laced with another substance. Combs then made her go to the bathroom where he forced himself on her. McKinney alleged that after the incident, she was blackballed from modeling and became so depressed that she tried to take her own life in 2004. So allegedly, not only did Diddy hurt her, he also ruined her career. Crystal is now out to expose him because she believes she has a moral obligation to do so. At this point, Diddy's menacing behavior has caused fans to want him out of the street. There were speculations that the leaked Cassie video would be more than enough, but the cops said nope and announced that they wouldn't be pressing charges. The DA's office released a statement via the LAPD that said, We are aware of the video that has been circulating online allegedly depicting scene comms hurting a young woman in Los Angeles. We find the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime can be prosecuted. To say that fans were shocked by this would be an understatement, and they were wondering how Diddy got so lucky to get away with these crimes. But according to Kenny, it has nothing to do with luck and everything to do with Diddy working for the feds as a snitch and informant. As Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these Are you fake hard n you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you fake hard n you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll get because you can't shit nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all shut the up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You shut the up about <laughs> you shut the up about my. Now, Kenny has been trying to warn us about Diddy for a while now, but we just kind of ignored it. Plus, it was around the time when Hollywood started trying to convince us that Kanye was crazy and he was out of his mind and he didn't know what he was saying and blah blah blah, which is a common thing amongst these truth-tellers. The fact that they went through so much effort to try to discredit him should have been the first sign that they were pressed, but we just didn't know how true his words were at the time. According to an insider, Kanye has been closely monitoring this Diddy situation for some time now and keeping his ear to the streets. This includes more than just the Cassie incident, which was indeed terrible. Day faced significant backlash following Cassie's lawsuit, and although he hoped things would improve after settling, the situation only worsened because four more women and a man have come out to sue him and expose him for inappropriate behavior. According to the insider, Kanye wasn't particularly surprised to learn that Cassie had been suffering at Diddy's hands and he has always had his suspicions. Back in the day, Kanye and Diddy had a semblance of a friendship, and Kanye allegedly noticed Cassie's bruises a few times. Although Cassie could make the usual excuses, claiming she bumped into a door, hit her head on a wall, or was just clumsy, Kanye wasn't very sure, but there really wasn't that much that he could do since Cassie didn't seek his help and continued to make excuses for Diddy. So when the truth came out, allegedly Kanye was not shocked. Sources even say that he cheered Cassie on for having the courage to speak out against the darker side of Hollywood. While Kanye wasn't surprised by Cassie's lawsuit, he was deeply shocked by the other lawsuits that followed. It's absolutely mind-blowing, but Kanye allegedly isn't stopping there. He also explained why we're suddenly hearing about all of these Diddy illicit activities, seeing a new lawsuit in California over another decades-old incident with a Playboy model and the LAPD say they can't do jack about Diddy putting hands on his girlfriend seven years ago. That's cute. Diddy is the new Epstein. So crazy. You can have video evidence of someone committing a crime, but because it happened long ago, you can't arrest them. Crazy. And Kanye told us P. Diddy was a fed who made a deal to get away with his crimes two years ago, but Dream Champs deleted the episode a few days later. I've been telling y'all to listen to ye. Now, this whole case has been absolutely upsetting. And like Kanye West said, when it all falls down. Listen, it's coming down hard on Diddy, and there's a whole lot of celebs that have a whole lot to say, 
and some are distancing themselves, and some are spilling tea. But do you think that's why Diddy is not in jail? Because he's working with the feds? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and then check out this next video.